Space docking is one of the most sophisticated acts to perform in space and the Indian Space Research Organization will be doing it in less than a week to tell us more about the complexity. We're joined by Shankaran sir, who is the director of ISRO's UR Rao Satellite Center. Kindly tell us sir, how complicated this the satellites are traveling at 28,000 kilometers per hour and autonomously they'll have to dock. Correct. It is like you would have seen in uh, the movie Speed, how the two buses are going at 100 miles per hour together parallelly and you have to put a bridge and uh, transfer people. It is exactly like that, but only the speed is going to be at least another 2000 times more. That is the difficulty in this work. But it is not impossible. People have already done it. We have developed our own technology and I'm sure that we'll also be successful. So also kindly tell us, um, you know, we're taking seven days to perform docking, right? Also, please explain why this seven days and why not sooner? We are doing it for the first time. So you don't do, uh, you will do something uh, fast, autonomously. Once you are, uh, so many times you have practiced it, yes, after that you can do. Now we are doing it for the first time. We have developed new sensors, new mechanisms. We need to test them. We have to gain confidence on uh, our algorithms and sensors. After that only we can uh, dock. Moreover, we are doing a docking of two satellites which are around 200 kilogram each. They are so, so like, it is like two paper flying and docking each other. Whereas any other docking like International Space Station or any other big mission, it will be in tons, the weight will be in tons. So the force required to disturb them is very large. Whereas even the smallest amount of force can disturb these two satellites. That's why we have to be extra cautious also. The, the, basically these are the two reasons. Only first time and it, we are doing it a very low mass system. So, as far as docking is concerned, uh, this is very crucial for our future ambitions, right? Well, Chandrayaan-4 requires docking. And as far as our Bharati Antarik space station is concerned, we need to assemble piece by piece, right? So, tell us uh, what docking means for ISRO's future. As already pointed out, the, we require for all human space flights, uh, docking is an essential requirement. And any crewed flight to moon, it is essential. Uh, and any return flight from moon or Mars anywhere, it is essential. So, uh, in a nutshell, other than Earth observing and uh, communication satellites that are uh, regularly made by us till now, remaining all other uh, space missions require docking as a technology. So, it's an enabling technology. Okay. Sir, also, uh, please tell us, when are we expecting the docking to happen, time, and what are the factors that you consider before giving the go-ahead for docking? So, as I already mentioned, we have to first evaluate our sensors, and all our guidance algorithms, this will happen. When we are satisfied, we will not be able to test all of them at one go. We will have to test certain sensors at certain intersatellite distances. Similarly, certain algorithms at certain points only. So, at different intersatellite distance, we will be testing different sensors and algorithms. And each stage, we will clear it for the next uh, uh, stage to move. Say, for example, from uh, 20 kilometer to 5 kilometer, we will give one, one go. Then 5 to 1 1.5, 1.5 to 500, like that. We will keep on moving stage by stage. By before 10th, we are hoping that we will be able to complete this docking. So within 10 days, ISRO is hoping to dock both satellites in space and that will be the final uh, outcome of the SpadeX mission. But of course, multiple dockings are also possible henceforth. From Sriharikota, Siddharth NP Beyond, World is One.